might step it around. That's okay. As long as the <laughs> throttle. Oh! Well, but see how he drops in. Yeah, he got a little bit too far to this hay bale that's over a little too far to his left. Watch, he kind of lifts up his left foot. Oh, downhill quick, and then Wilson makes a similar mistake. He gets into a tough block in a similar area of the track. He was able to remount and hold his position. He actually jarred his left thumb so severely that it compounded his thumb and the joint. So at this point, there it's undetermined of when we'll see him back. Wow, compound fracture of the thumb. Some okay. trouble back here. Well, oh. this, is, this is what happens. This is a blind jump, so all the other riders are coming over this for Jeez. Uh, uh, Scott Champion. Tons uh, of riders in there. and, and uh, Take us to the crash. Okay, now Barsha stuffs it in the turn, and Wilson carries his momentum around and goes for it. Now, when he realizes that he doesn't have the wheel on Barsha, but he hits that big kicker, and he just cannot stop his momentum. Now, Barsha is going to... You know, if you watch this replay... Okay, so this is uh, over that hip double. Wilson's still out front at this point. Oh, and then he catches a, a rut or something and goes down with the lead. Bizarre crash. Watch right here. Oh, his, his right hand came off the bars. Oh. But he's really picking up speed because he knows he can catch oh. a Leslie. And so great start for Vincent, though. Oh, oh, bag it! Over the bars! As the young man, 57... Pulls the tear off and watches. He hits the brakes here, hits a soft hole, wow. and just stuffs it. And that's when the foot peg, the one, looks like he's going to have to oh. do it again. And Barsha's down. Barsha loses the front end in one of those ruts. And he, oh, okay. there's your leader. Watch Barsha. He was already sliding the front wheel up in that area. So he lost traction. And they put quite a bit of water down. And this is after the hole shot. Watch this here. Barsha comes down. This is uh, just through the Makita mechanics area. He goes down two motos in a row, and that's frustrating at line. But uh, look at how. Oh, oh and he's down. Baggett is down. He's got to get up quick. Did he stall the bike? Now the gas second fall. Same place Barsha went down earlier in the moto on lap one, I believe it was. Same fall, same thing. They both kept it going. Lost a little bit of time. Seems to me he needed to switch front tires and use that wider yeah, front hey. tire. And this is the. <laughs> this is. Yeah, in that situation, in the conditions where the soil was. Dungey Ryan Villapoto in the rest. And he led this race convincingly for a while, and it was Chad Reed who started second, and he was he was just out front. And watch here at the left of your screen, the reigning champion Ryan Dungey goes down. Picks and Chad Reed's going to lead him. Oh, and Jake Weimer down. Is that and Craig with him? I think that might be Christian Craig who had the whole shot in the first... Barsha's still leading, and then he goes over this jump, and what'd you say about that soft dirt? Oh, not so soft when you hit it at that pace, and Barsha was wheeling away from the competition, pounds his fist into this. There's Watch. Nick Paluzzi on the left. Watch this. Yeah, Nick Paluzzi, 72 on the yellow bike. Watch, he gets over the top right here. Oh, sorry. Oh, he gets uh, a little wild there. Oh, and his left hand. He was planning on the bike sliding, and it caught. Yeah, watch. He lands off of the leap here, and he's doing a 2-1. And it was really muddy earlier today in practice, and he kind of scrubbed the first two. Front wheel washed out on him a little bit, as, as you've seen, and he hit the mat pretty hard. And Aaron has Eli Tomac down to the pitch. Malcolm Stewart through the whoops here on the left, on the 139. Yeah, he's trying to get past uh, Audette there on the Yamaha, the Yamaha, but uh, just stuffs the front wheel going in. You notice he kind of gets his left foot caught under the uh, the bars there. Might have twisted that, that left knee or something. Vacation and a weekend off. He is fired up here in the number 22. Oh! Reed launches! We got trouble! Chad Reed is down and down hard! Unbelievable for your series points leader! Jeff. Yeah, watch what happens. He gets his weight to the right just a little bit right here as he wheelies. Then he hits a square edge bump. He's 30 feet in the air. Has to be. So fortunate that he lands on the downside of that grassy hill. Now right here, look, he's trying to keep his feet under him so that he doesn't go head first. He did a great job of that. Are you kidding me? Chad Reed is back on the motorcycle? Wow. How can this be? That bike has got to be bent. How is he not hurt?
He must have been 20, 30 feet up in the air, Jeff. See his team manager, Dave Osman there. They were taking a look at it. It looks like the silencer. looks like the bars. Everything was pretty crowd. clean. Listen to the crowd going crazy. Watch the replay. He hits a kicker, a square edge. You remember in the first moto, he did that also. And watch, he loses traction. And look at Chad, hits the downside. Dungey got to him about five minutes ago. Here he goes, to the inside, and Dungey takes Philip Hono down. The crowd goes crazy, and on the other hand, we were wondering if Dungey would attack like that. Unbelievable, the attack like this, side by side. Philip Hono goes down. We'll reset it. He sees the opening, carries his momentum around, and Villapoto doesn't get through clean. Now Villapoto tries to pull up out of the way and watch Villapoto trying to stay away from Dungey's rear tire and just stuffs the front wheel of his Kawasaki in here. Watch this one more time. It's a little wide and then hits that soft dirt right there on the side of that hill. So good news for the Honda camp there. Bad news for the KTM division, though. Mike Alessi goes down in practice, didn't race last weekend, will not race this weekend. Scratch him from the championship contention. And to yeah, watch, he comes over this tabletop and he hits a kicker, oh. and he tucked his head early. See, he goes to scrub that. The front kind of went first, and then when you watch it on TV, you know, the rear goes as well. But I didn't feel that. I just felt the front go. In my mind, all I felt was just a big jar of the handlebars, and then the next minute I'm flying through the air, thinking that this is this is not this is not good. When I was on the ground, I was trying to get my breath, and then you know, as you're starting to get your breath, I, I do the the body take, you know, feel your arms, your legs, your wrist, and everything felt pretty intact. So. Uh, once I regained my breath, it was my instinct was to get back on the bike. Are you kidding me? Chad Reed is back on the motorcycle to stay in the hunt, and he is right now. Yeah, and, and I believe that the track. Whoa! Oh, Canard launches, and he scrubbed it, I guess, too hard uphill. But that has not aggravated that injury. Take us through this, Jeff. Watch as Canard tries to scrub it, and the front wheel taps, so the front wheel stays up. He augers in the ground pretty hard, but as he's trying to scrub it, he's tucking the front wheel down, and it touches. And you kind of slide. Here's a look from behind. I want you to pay attention to his front wheel tapping. Right there, the wheel goes up, and see how it spins the rotation of the bike off from what he intended. Right there, uh, it hits again, see, and then it throws the bike, rotates it the other way, and he goes over the bars, takes a pretty... Downhill we go. Oh, and Weimer gets out in the soft step. Oh, oh Reed goes Reed. down. Unbelievable. Reed had the pass made and goes down. Take us through this. Yeah, watch. He gets down here, gets in pretty clean, and... Oh, rut kind of breaks away right in this area here. And uh, rear wheel kind of skips over, it bumps in it, it gets ruts in it, and it makes it hard. Just Whoa, oh, they, they get together. together, and they both go down. I believe that was incidental contact, and Reed may pick up more positions. He does. Last lap, they almost touch. They're, They're down. down. Barsha down. Unbelievable. Barsha ran such a spectacular race. Let's take us through it, Jeff. Yeah, watch as Barsha tries to jump to the inside to block Dungy, but he's there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Barsha, surprising that he even gets up because there's so much momentum coming down that jump. This place can take a lot of rain, but where we will see a lot of water uh, uh, starting to uh, collect is at the bottoms of certain areas. When there's a, like a G out down there uh, around the second for the 800 of Mike Alessi, Jeff. Take us through what happened to Alessi, who was running uh, in sixth place. Oh. Alessi coming down through, uh, you can see the ruts just coming down through here everywhere. and. I mean, some of them go back and forth, and uh, they just ate him up. Now, Mike's a pretty good mud rider. Very low budget operation, not much support. Although they did get some help today. Oh, Baggett comes off the motorcycle. Things have been going like this. Watch this. He hits that rock star. Whoa. Uh, that can, that banner right there. He got too far to his left. It's another look at the crash. Yeah, watch right here. He gets wide, and you can tell. He sees the track, but that uh, Rockstar thing was about, it's, it's about three feet off of the lip right after your screen. 
Oh, Izzy gets a gets a little kick there. Oh. Huck about coming into the first turn area uh, as you're trying to get the, the rear wheel kind of slid out. Look, this is a great way, if you're just a Barsha, to, to take the lead. Just Reed makes a little mistake, slides down, hands it over to Barsha. 